My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 72 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at distance between two points when it comes to coordinate geometry. If you are given coordinates and you are asked to look for the distance between the two points, you will simply say distance is equals square root of s2 minus s1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, which means from the coordinates I gave you in the previous episode, you can just substitute the various values and you will get your distance. Life becomes very, very easy for us. But let us look at this question. It says, find the distance between the points 4, 3. And the intersection of y, y is equals 2s plus 4, and y is equals 7 minus s. From the data that we are given, this is obviously our S1, this is our Y1. We have S1, we have Y1, but we do not have S2 and we do not have Y2. Instead of them to just tell us, guy, we are not giving you S2 and Y2, they now spoke grammar for us that there is intersection of y is equals 2s plus 4 and y is equals 7 minus s they are giving us all this so that we can find the other y and the other s that is basically the idea every time we are told that two lines intersect like this is equal to this this is equal to this it means that they are both equal to each other if y is equals 2s plus 4 and this y is equals 7 minus s, it means y is equals y since they intersected, which means 2s plus 4 should be equals 7 minus s. So anytime you see a question like this, you are given the first coordinate and you are given two equations and they say that the lines intersect, you equate them. In some cases, they will say the intersection of s is equals y minus 7. They will give you here and they will give you this one instead of doing it like this. What you will simply do in that case is y is equals 2s plus 4. Then this second one also make y subject formula to get y is equals s plus 7. That is in this case. After making y subject formula, then you equate here and here. Anyhow, they bring it, you should be very, very ready. I am not teaching you or just solving a question for solving sake. I am teaching you everything you should know. Anyhow, it comes, irrespective of the concept, you will know what to do. From here, if you collect like terms, you should have 2s plus s is equal 7 minus 4. 3s is equals 3. S is equals 3 over 3. That is equals 1. Wow. Is that so? If S is 1, we are told that Y is 7 minus S and Y is also 2S plus 4. Any of the equation where you put S to be 1, you get your value of Y and they will both be the same. So from y is equals 7 minus s, y is equals 7 minus 1, because s is 1, and y is equals 6. So, this is your s2, and this is your y2. We come here and say, s2 
y2. S2 is 1, comma, y2 is 6, like this. So, food is ready. Our distance becomes S2. 1 minus 4 squared plus y2 minus y1 plus 6 minus 3 squared. And please be always, always careful. Why did I say so? If here we are minus 4, know that here is already minus, then the minus 4, we have it all minus again. Please, in mathematics, be very, very careful about signs. So this becomes 1 minus 4, that is minus 3. So minus 3 squared plus 6 minus 3, that is 3 squared. Wow. D becomes the square root of. In mathematics, when you square a negative number, you, the answer will be positive. Anytime you square a negative number, you must arrive at positive. So, whether you put S here first, or you put Y here first, and put S in the other side, that is not a problem. Since they are all squared, you are guaranteed of getting a positive answer. Minus 3 squared is 9, plus 3 squared is 9. D becomes the square root of 18. And what is 18? 18 is 9 times 2. This is the square root of 9 times 2. That is the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 9 times 2 is the same thing as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. That is 3 times the square root of 2. 3 root 2. The reason I did this is that they left the answer in the form of sod. So that will be the answer. If you don't understand this, the problem is not coordinate geometry. The problem will be that you did not pay attention in my sword class where I gave all the rules of swords and their applications. So roll back now and watch that video. If you have issue with getting 3 root 2 from square root of 9 plus 1. But if you don't have any issue with the answer, you are good to go. Then in other cases, they will just give you the answer straightforward, not in sword form. Prepare for anything that comes, anything that may come, and anything that shall come. That is obviously it for this episode. See you in the next episode. And make sure that you are good.